Alright, let's review exponential function a little bit. In this section, we will go over mostly application problems um, involving exponential. I don't think I have enough of logarithmic application problems on this uh, packet, but let's start with exponentials. So suppose that the dollar value v of t of a certain house that is t years old is given by the following exponential function. So if you're just given this equation right here, do you remember what each of these numbers represent. Like that very first number that you see right after that equal sign. Remember this number is the initial value um, of this house. So if part A is asking for find the initial value of the house, this house was initially $687,530. Okay. Um, does the function represent growth or decay? Now for that part, we're going to have to look at the base. Take a look at the base. Base is 0 0.95. Since 0 0.95 is less than 1, this function represents... Uh -oh. I don't have room to stick in S. I'll just say this function is decaying function. It's a decay function. It's a decay function. So every year, this house will be 95% um, of what it used to be in the previous year. So it's going down by 5% each year, right? Um, I think that's what part C is asking. By what percent does the value of the house change per each year? Because um, if we're looking at 95%, um, this decay factor of 0.95, we got it from doing 1 minus r equals 0.95, right? So that means r must be equal to 0 0.05, and that is 5%. So is decreasing by 5% per year, okay? All right, so that was just a, and we worked with something like this before, so I just wanted to review this with you um, about the initial value and uh, growth or decay, looking at based on, um, on the size of the base, because if this number was bigger than 0.95, we would have said that, um, we would have said this function is a growth function, but 0.95 was smaller than, one. All right, so let's look at a couple other examples. Um, finding time given an exponential function with base e that models a real-world situation. Now, this these are going to be a little bit more difficult because we're looking for time. We're looking for t. Look at the location of t. t is a d exponent, so we're going to have to know how to solve for that t. So um, this lesson is after 3.5. And on less than 3.5, we learned about how to solve exponential and log equations. All right, let's look at example number one together. Nicole places a bottle of water inside a cooler. As the water cools, its temperature, C of t in degrees Celsius, is given by the following function, where t is the number of minutes since the bottle was placed in the cooler. Okay, so that's the equation. I see it. Nicole wants to drink the water when it reaches a temperature of 21 degrees Celsius. So she wants that side to be 21. She wants it to be cool enough for her to drink. So she wants that temperature to be 21. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it up and say 21 equals 7 plus 17 times e raised to the negative 0.034t. Because we're solving for time here. How long should Nicole wait? I think that's what they're asking. How many minutes should she leave it in the cooler? Round your answer to the nearest cent. Let's see. Does she have to wait 30 minutes, 45 minutes? How many minutes does she have to wait so that her drinks becomes 21 degrees Celsius? Let's solve this equation. Okay. First, let's subtract 7 from both sides. We get... 14 equals 17 times e to the negative 0.034t. All right, I'm going to divide both sides by 17. 
If we do that, we get 14 over 17 equals e to the negative 0.034t. So first two steps, we're just isolating that exponential term. Now the fun part, to bring that down, we're going to take a natural log of both sides. Okay, natural log of both sides. So the left-hand side is simply natural log of 14 over 17. And the right-hand side, this exponent comes down. And natural log of e will just become 1. So all we need to do to solve for t is divide both sides by that negative decimal. Okay, um, let me see if I can move the work to the side a little bit. Or well, I'll just put it under here. Divide both sides by negative 0 0.034. Negative 0 0.034. So t is approximately... Okay, now I'll need to get a scientific calculator, right? So let's go ahead and divide. Natural log of 14 over 17. Uh-oh, whoopsie, let me try again. Natural log of 14 over 17, and we're dividing that by negative 0 0.034. And that comes out to be, oh, she doesn't have to wait that long. Um, nearest tenth. She just needs to wait about 5.7 minutes. So, um, I'm going to be putting some of these word problems on your test because I want you to be able to read the given information to set up an equation, not only how to, I'll know how to solve it, because I'll ask you questions on just straight up solving um, on section 3.5, but 3.6 is more about reading the problem to set up the equation and then solving it, okay? All right, so that's it for number one. Um, I think I'm going to stop this video here and then come back and do number two.